We were really pleased with the way all our guys competed and played and definitely impressed and uh, and proud, proud of the way they, you know, basically stuck in there through the whole weekend. We knew it was going to be a dog fight and really proud of them. You talk about the type of baseball that was played all three games. Low scoring games, obviously. Uh, a lot of pitching and defense and I uh, said after Saturday's game, uh, you know, you, you got to add the base running factor in there also, but you can pitch and play defense and run the bases solid every day. You got a chance to to win, and uh, those things should be there every day. They're not going to be every day, but uh, the base running came into effect a little bit on Saturday, and uh, I think we both gave some outs on the bases away, I would say, throughout the series, and uh, really the, the pitching was really good. It's what a Big 12 weekend is supposed to look like. Tim, you've preached all the time about being confident going into a game no matter you know who the opponent is or where you're playing. You feel like maybe this weekend the, the, the team really kind of took that to heart and, and, and put it out there for three games? Well, it's just it's not all about them. I mean, what we're trying to do is just put ourselves in position to win games. and uh, Our guys weren't caught up in the environment at all. Uh, basically playing the same game they played their whole life. And uh, definitely uh, we ran into a buzzsaw. You tip your hat to their pitching. I mean, we didn't exactly have a lot of hits, but you tip your hat because those guys threw the ball really well. And uh, we all know, you know, this this game now is built on two out hitting. You get hits with two outs, you got a chance to win games. And uh, we got a couple on Sunday. Do you feel like you were set up to win the game Sunday based on the pitching? Friday and Saturday? Uh, a little bit, obviously, yeah, with uh, their guy coming in on Saturday, Knable. I didn't, I think they would have gone to him on Sunday if it was tied or had the lead there in the eighth or ninth inning. And uh, our guys knew that. I mean, they were saying in the dugout, hey, it's going to be easier to get them now than later because they knew he was sitting down there. And uh, definitely, I mean, the way we pitched on Friday in a starting role, the way we pitched on Saturday in a starting role, allowed us to uh, be able to go to the guys we went to on Sunday. You feel like his team Good start, question. You feel like his team's starting to take on a little bit of your personality and being respectful of teams but not fearful of them? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's to me, it's about the kids and it's about them competing and it's their team. Uh, they know that and uh, they can go out and beat anybody like we've said. And, uh, but, but at the same time, we also know we you know, we can be beaten if we don't play good baseball. And, uh, we're going to play some close games and trying to trying to emphasize uh, doing the small things right every day. I think that helps in coming off that kind of weekend helps going into a game against a top-ranked team against Arizona State. I tell you, they're going to be mad. You know, they went to Washington State, and, or maybe Washington State went there, I'm not sure. And Washington State's no slouch themselves. I mean, they're – they're a tough bunch to beat in Pullman, and uh, but Arizona State probably was uh, wanting to win those games, obviously, and uh, I'm sure they'll come in with a little edge tomorrow and uh, be ready to play. And I mean, the momentum, as we've said before, starts right there on the mound, and we give ourselves a chance to win by going out and pitching well. Yeah, it was good. I had a lot of family and friends there, and uh, to be able to go out and pitch as well as I did, I was really proud of myself. But uh, you know, when you look at the grand scheme of things, it was it was not as good that we didn't get that win, but we came back on Sunday and we picked up the series victory. What does that mean for this group, that the, a group that's kind of still evolving and growing a little bit to go down there and start a Big 12 conference in a place like that and come out away with those results? It's big. Uh, like you said, it, you know, we're still evolving as a team, trying to find our own identity, and I think we did that this weekend. We pitched really well. We scored runs when we needed to, and uh, you know, we came out with a serious win. Did you guys take any momentum after the way Texas won Saturday into Sunday saying, hey, you know, I think so. I think it speaks volumes for the type of team that we have. We're a very resilient group. Uh, any other team could have rolled over easily after losing a tough game like we did on Saturday. But we looked ourselves in the mirror, and you know, we got up off the mat. We came back, and we won a big game on Sunday. What about what they were saying at the end of, at the end of that Saturday game? Did that put a fire in you guys? It, it did. I'd be lying if I said it didn't. You know, they were chirping over there, and it, it sparked a fire in us, and we came out ready to play. Is, is it good to maybe develop that kind of attitude to come back and, and, and be 
not 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 be as trippy as they are, but to come back with that kind of attitude and not let and, and kind of take that and, and use it internally. I think so. We we really try and stay on our guys and have a us against the world mentality. We play with the chip on our shoulder, and I really like that about our team. Trey, how do you feel when you go on the mound this season? Obviously, you've done a heck of a job. And why do you think you've been so successful so far this season? I think uh, so far this season, I'm just trying to stay within myself and not try and do too much. I'm just trying to get out as quickly and as efficiently as possible and let my defense work behind me. Talk about the, the travel demands this weekend. Obviously, some significant travel. Yeah, I just found out about it. And uh, it's not going to be the easiest travel plans. But I mean, uh, it's what we signed up for. We're college baseball players. And it's not going to be easy. But we're going to have to get off the bus, get off the plane, whatever it is, and go play baseball. What's working for you well right now? I think it's hard to say. I mean, it changes with every game. You just have to go out there with what you have that day and just battle your butt off. Trey, do you feel like this team is taking on Tadlock's personality in the terms of being respectful of other teams but not being fearful of going out and, and being confident each time you guys go out on the field? I think so. And you described Coach Tadlock perfectly. He's very respectful to other people, but at the same time, you know, we're not going to back down from anyone. You all right with sharing your jersey number tomorrow? Sir? You all right with sharing your jersey number with Kingsbury tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. It's it's really good to have someone like Kingsbury uh, as a Texas Tech family. Any questions about Arizona State? Coach Kingsbury, yeah. anything else? What's up? Uh, yeah, they they can come in ranked. Do you guys just see it as another challenge? I do, and uh, you know we just went down to the University of Texas and beat them on the road. So I feel like that was a big challenge for our team and. You know, we're not going to shy away from Arizona State. We're going to welcome them in. We're going to play them with the best kind of baseball we have. Anything else? How much does a, does a win, a very serious win like Texas and doing it on the road like that help as far as getting some of these young kids some confidence? Because you, you've kind of been in their position needing some of those wins. Yeah, I think it's big getting their confidence. But at the same time, we have to make sure that we're not too focused on that. We have to realize we have a, a big game here against Arizona State. And hopefully we can get some of the fans out and we can play a really good game against them. You guys worried all about a letdown coming off such a big weekend and not being focused coming out tomorrow? I don't think so. I mean, a letdown is such a, a tough word to, to use. But, you know, like I said, we just need to come out focused and ready to play our brand of baseball. Does it help that you got a big opponent coming in tomorrow night the after, after the weekend? I think so. I think it keeps us on our toes and doesn't let us really fall back on our heels. We know we've got a really good opponent coming in, and we need to be ready to play ball.